Welcome back to the international world of Università Bocconi. Today we are talking about the second edition of the Economy and the Open Society, the international forum organized by Università Bocconi and Corriere della Sera. After debuting last March in Paris, the forum came back to Milan from May the 12th to the 14th and will end a three-part series in Madrid next October. Focus of the debate, innovation, globalization and reforms. I looked through the website of the Bocconi University and I found out this conference which is with very interesting title. I breathe an international mood, an international experience. The mood of this uh, event is to meet foreign professors like Danny Roderick uh, or some Italian entrepreneur like Passera and it's a beautiful possibility for us. I find these events spectacular because you discuss about the problems in the world and actually see people that are important and influential in the world speak and maybe probably ask questions to them and see what the future can bring. All eyes on Milan, waiting for Expo 2015 in these days, the city captured international attention as it successfully competed to become the center of attraction of a truly open world. The European dimension is indeed the key element of the debate and the goal of Università Bocconi in promoting a deep reflection on international issues in which Italy and Milan can play an active role. Globalization is one of the main issues of this, this forum as it's part of my career of studies that is dealing with international relations and uh, institution also. So I think it's very interesting for my field of studies and maybe for my work in the future. The main issues that I was interested in was uh, protectionism, but in general I'm also uh, interested in development in general because I come from a developing nation. I'm Chinese and uh, lots of the Italian people, uh, they're talking about for the for the Chinese products and they wanted to introduce something to, to protect the Italian system. So I wanted to know more about this program. Globalization is a good thing only if it is regulated and regulation and standards are the key. We can't stop globalization and I agree with it and that there is no other real alternative to it. So we have to understand in which way we should control globalization but at the same time we have to understand it's the only possible future for all the world. Globalization is key. We cannot live without globalization. This is an effect and I think every country, especially Italy, should always remember that globalization will always keep on going and that's why Italy, I think, should keep up with the pace of other European countries and rather than only look at the negative sides but also focus on the positive effects. The second appointment of the Forum's European programme came to a satisfying end. And if progress comes along with openness, these three days in Milan were certainly a step forward.